Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a few preppy color combinations for your outfits that I think always look chic. So let's go ahead and talk about these color combinations. I'm gonna pop together a few outfits and how I like to style them. And hopefully that will give you a little bit of inspiration for your outfits too. The first color combination is just such a classic and that is red, white, and navy blue. I'm rocking it right now. Very patriotic. And this is a great preppy color combination that you can use in outfits all year round. It does look great in the summertime because it's got very nautical summer yachting vibes, but I think this color combination can be used all year round. I've been super into old Ralph Lauren ads lately, like print adverts that they used to put out. They probably still do put them out, but especially the vintage ones. And a lot of the time they are styled in red, white, and navy, and it just always looks chic. I feel like that should be a video that we should do about old Ralph Lauren advert outfits because, ah, oh, they're so good. A really easy way that I incorporate this into my outfits is Exhibit A, my Ralph Lauren flag sweater. This is such an iconic sweater. And I normally style this with some white shorts, white sneakers, and bam, you've instantly got a really easy, casual, yet put together outfit. And then if it is a bit of a chillier day or a rainy day, I will pop over this really bright red windbreaker. This is from Uniqlo, so it was very inexpensive. It isn't lined, so it's super basic, but it's also a really, easy and light layer to pop over the top. And then that is really bringing the red into the outfit. I love this little Ralph Lauren sweater with the white shorts, white sneakers outfit. It's just so easy and I definitely wear this outfit a lot. I think it's really good to have a few staple outfits in your wardrobe that you can always easily just grab and put on if you're going to coffee or something. I'm totally an outfit repeater like Lizzie McGuire, but you know what? If you find an outfit that works for you, that you feel hot in and is also very classic, then I think who cares if you're an outfit repeater. Also this coat, jacket, I wear it as a dress sort of thing. I sort of wear it as like a little mod coat dress sort of vibe with my Sarah Flint loafers in navy, of course. I think the color combination looks super elevated in this look, the red, white, and blue. So it doesn't have to be full like 4th of July, Uncle Sam fireworks going off. I mean, you can do that too. You can go for a super fun look, but it can also look very elegant. All right, the next color combination I actually feel like is going to be a little bit controversial and it is green and pink. And I feel like people either love it or they hate it. And I love it. It gives me 80s vibes, like 80s preppy. But then also I just think it's really fun. It's flamboyant, reminds me of summertime and like vacation, resort, Beverly Hills Hotel, a bit of the Colony Palm Beach. You know what I mean? I just love a bit of green and pink. I think it's such a fun color combination that you really don't see a lot in fashion, especially mainstream fashion, but even preppy style, it sort of comes in and out of Vogue. And you know what? I think it's definitely coming back in because I've been seeing pieces crop up. Lily Pulitzer, obviously they're always doing a bit of cheeky green and pink, aren't they? But they're really bringing it back in. And then also I saw this sweater on Brooks Brothers. It's actually on sale and oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really vibing it. I was tempted to go quite cash with the outfit, but then I was looking on Pinterest and I saw so many girls style it in such a chic way, like really elevated green and pink looks. So it sort of inspired me to do a mix of those two. So here's the outfit that I put together. I have this pink blouse. This is a staple of mine. You see this all the time. This is from Keepsake the Label a few years ago. And then I have these culottes. I love a culotte. And then on the bottom, my little Tory Burch. These are actually a very light pink. Sometimes on camera, they look nude, but they are pink. And I really love this outfit. It's definitely still summer. It has a little bit of that Palm Beach vibe, but still elevated. And I feel like you could totally wear this to work. Another really fun color combination, especially for women in summer for preppy fashion is hot pink, white, and gold. And look, I'm not 100% sure if hot pink really works with my skin tone personally. I think a pastel pink, like a lighter baby pink, it definitely works with my skin tone better. But you know what? That's not gonna stop me from wearing hot pink. It's just so, it's so in your face. I love it so much. I have this hot, 
hot, bright pink Lily Pulitzer Elsa top. And I always like to style this top with my high-waisted white broderie anglaise shorts. I love saying broderie. Broderie anglaise. Is it broderie or broderie? I think it's broderie. Broderie anglaise shorts. I wear these shorts so much. Like it's not even funny. I've had them maybe like four years now and I'm sad to say they're kind of falling apart a little bit simply because I wear them so much and wash them so much, which is a little bit sad. I'm, I'm keeping them for now. I don't think they look too shabby yet, but eventually I'm going to have to replace them and I don't want that day to come because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to find shorts that really pop off like these ones, you know what I mean? So thoughts and prayers for the shorts. Hopefully they'll last a bit longer. And then gold, gold accessories with the hot pink and the white. I get now why people rave about these Elsa tops. They are really, excuse me, they're really beautiful blouses. They're so light and breathable, perfect for summer, but they still look really put together because they are silk and the actual design of it is just, it's a very flattering blouse. The only annoying thing is they are dry clean only. Like that is like, that's annoying, isn't it? The next color combination is military red, black and camel. And this is very get the London look to me. And it's also just very easy to achieve. I've gone for a white Oxford shirt, high-waisted black shorts, my black flats, and then my trusty Jack Wills trench coat. And then to bring the red into the outfit, I popped on my Baker Boy hat. I think this color combination looks good with just that little pop of red in an accessory, maybe your shoes or something. But then I've also seen it done with like a full red sweater with the camel trench coat, black jeans, and that also looks really, really nice. And there are some chic, preppy color combinations for your outfits. Hopefully those color combinations are helpful to build some outfits around. I feel like a big percentage of an outfit looking good is the colors and working with different colors and popping them together in different ways. I feel like we're just scraping the surface of the preppy color combinations. We can definitely make more parts to this video. So if you have any color combinations that you love to pair together, please comment them down below. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more. I have lots of other preppy content on my channel that you might like to check out and watch next. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next week in my next video. Bye-bye.